Sam. Oliver and Duck were worried. Stepney's recent accident had caused a great deal of trouble. And so Topham Hat was waiting with them with important news. Here's Sam the huge Virginian engine who has come to help while Stepney is indisposed. Please, sir, will he go when Stepney comes back? That depends, said Sir Topham Hat. Meanwhile, however long he stays, I hope you'll both make him welcome and comfortable. Yes, sir, we'll try, sir, said the engines. Good. Run along now and show him the shed. He'll want to rest after his journey. Sam wasn't easy to be pleased. He shuddered at the engine shed. This is dreadfully smelly. <coughs> I'm highly sprung. And anything smelly is bad for my swerves. Next, they tried the carriage shed. This is better, said Sam. But whatever is that rubbish... That rubbish turned out to be Toad, who was most offended. I won't stay here to be insulted, he fumed. Oliver and Duck had to take him away and spend half the night soothing his hurt feelings. The engines woke next morning, feeling exhausted. Sam, on the other hand, felt bright and cheerful. Ooh, ooh he tooted as he came out of the yard and back to the station. Look at me, he purred to the passengers. I'm the latest big engine, highly sprung and right up to date. You won't want Stepney's bumpy old coaches now. The passengers waited for Sam to start, but he didn't. He saw the fuel van was about to be coupled to him and was most indignant. Do they accept me to pull that? Surely, said his driver. You can pull one van. I won't, said Sam. Oliver can do it. He loves messing about freight cars. Nonsense, said his driver. Come on now, back down. Sam lurched backwards. He was so cross that he blew a fuse. Told you, he said, and stopped. Everyone argued with him, but it was no use. It's Fetter's orders, he said. What is? My fitter is a very nice man. He comes every week and examines me carefully. Sam, he says, never, never pull. You're highly sprung and pulling is bad for your swerves. So that's how it is, finished Sam. Stuff and nonsense, said the station master. I can't understand, said the shunner. Whatever made Sir Topham Hat send us such a feeble... Feeble, feeble, spluttered Sam. Let me... Stop arguing, grumbled the passengers. We're late already. So they uncoupled the van, and Sam purred away, very pleased with himself. He can now enjoy his journey. That's a good story, he chuckled. I'll do just what work I choose and no more, but he said it to himself.